This is the ET335 data latch lab demonstration, and it's going to be the short version, assuming that you have a handle on multi-SIM, and I'll do a longer one that I do everything. Okay, in this shortened version, I'm going to show you where to grab the components, and you can put them together later. The longer version, I'll go ahead and build the whole circuit, but let's go ahead and just get the components, and I will allow you to... I will give you this file so that we need a VCC, we need a ground, we're going to need resistors, and actually we're going to need SPT switch since he's here, and let's grab a resistor, I believe we're going to need a 470, and I think we need a 1K. Okay, so let's go to TTL, close these out, and let's go to TTL, and we want to go 74LS, and we're going to use the 7400 for our SR latch, our debounce, and we're going to need a 7475. And there's two in an IC. And let's grab a 74175. Okay. And let's see what else we're going to need. Um, let's grab some LEDs. So we're going to go to diode LED. And I think we're going to need a green and maybe a red. And how about an orange? Okay, if these things don't behave themselves and don't light, go ahead and open them up and maybe we need to reduce the current. Uh, most of them should work, but if we're having trouble, go ahead and uh, just reduce the current on that. So we got the resistors, we got that, we got the switch. Oh, we need a clock. So we're going to go to power, sources, signal sources, clock. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Here in multi-SIM, I have our debound switch, and I've used... Uh, NAND gates, which I think is in the lab, tells us to do that. And what I've done is set it up with a SVDT switch, except I've kept it in the normal configuration, so I have a ground. And this is a pull-up, this is a pull-up, this is an active load uh, debounce. So I got a ground here, and we can produce our debounce signal here. Okay, so there's a set, there's a reset, and I would hang on to this circuit because we're going to use it quite a bit. Uh, in the next few laps. Here I have the completed multi-SIM diagram of our data latch. This is the 7475 data latch which is a gated one so whenever it's enabled it will pass the data on through. This is called a transparent latch and I'll show you what that means here in a second. But first thing let's do is we have our debounce switch. That is going to be our enable. So when this LED is lit, it's going to be a high, so our gate will be enabled. This clock here is actually our data. Okay, so we have one hertz going in. That's going to be our data. It's going in the output to the data. And every time we put in a little bit of data, we're going to get our LED to flash. Here I have our LED hooked into Q0. Okay, so this one is set up for syncing. And it should be in sync with this other clock here. So let's go ahead and start. Alrighty, so we have high here, so we're enabled, and we see the data passes straight through. These two LEDs are in sync. Okay, so we have data in, and we're 
getting data out. This is the transparent mode. Everything comes in, goes out. Okay, so let's trap a high. All right, so I trapped a high. So when this guy went high, I went ahead and moved this debound switch from high to low. So I captured that. So this is latched high. So let's go ahead and get it flashing again. And now I'm going to track a trap a low. And I've done that. So um, I could go ahead and control this to trap data on both sides. So I just trapped a low. And that's pretty much it. Okay, here we have our 74175 data latch. It is a positive edge triggered device. Okay, here we have the clock and we're going to use our debounce as our input. Okay, and we have set this up where we have our clock in, which is our data. Our data is going to flash this LED. This LED is going to go to our, our D latch, excuse me, our SR latch. And here's our output. And again, I hooked it to Q0, so that it's going to be in the syncing mode. This device is not transparent, so we are not going to see the inputs and the outputs synchronized. Okay, so I'm going to have to trap whatever I want to see. So let's go ahead and start. And since this is a positive edge trigger, okay, we need to go from low to high. So let's start at low. Right now, let's grab a high. All right, so I went from low to high, which is what? A positive edge. So I latched a high. All right, so let's go create another positive edge and let's grab a zero. And I grabbed a low. Okay, so the only time that this data is going to get trapped is when I go low to high on the clock. And that's pretty much it.